Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and to another reaction video. I'm filming some music reactions today and the next video I'm going to check out is one that has come highly recommended uh, to me from actually multiple people recently have suggested this group. Um, this is another band group that is brand new to me that I have not had a chance to check out before or haven't heard before. Um, they are The Warning. Okay, so this particular performance was recommended to me. It is a live version um, of their song called The End, and it, it says in parentheses, stars always seem to fade. So I'm guessing that's kind of like the secondary title to it. Um, so this is live at Lunario CDMX. Okay, so this specific version was the one recommended to me. Um, I don't really know what type of music this is going to be or what it's going to be like. I'm So I'm going into this completely blind. Um, so brand new experience to me all the way around. All right, so let's not waste any more time. This is the warning. Here we go. Listos! Hmm? Audience is ready to go. Is it all all women? I think it is. That's cool. I really like her shirt too. I'm not gonna lie. I don't regret. Wish I could forget. I really like the feel at the start. The singer is the drummer? That's sick! Okay, definitely changed it up. Woo! Okay, the guitar part is catchy. So it's three women? really powerful. That felt like an Aerosmith like thing right there. Woo! This is really catchy! <laughs>
All right. That was awesome. That was great. I, okay. So like I said, I went into this really with no idea what to expect at all. Um, so it's an all female rock group. Um, and it's actually interesting. It's so there's, there's three members. And first of all, the drummer is also the lead singer, which you almost never see that in any, any rock band, um, which is super cool. And she also has an extremely powerful voice. Um, some of the vocals in this song are things that I would expect someone singing to have to completely focus on those vocals and getting them out in order to maintain the power behind it and the pitch and the tone without, you know, faltering or, or going sharp or something along those lines. Um, and nonetheless, she's able to do this and sound amazing, amazing, while simultaneously carrying the drum part, which is extremely impressive to me. Like, I'm always... Anyone who has ever sang on stage before or performed a vocal piece, whether it's to uh, as part of a band or a, a chorus or in a musical or something along those lines, you know, it it's not easy. You have to focus in ways that people maybe don't necessarily realize in terms of your breath, in terms of the way your posture, the way you're holding both your, your stomach, your abdominal muscles, your chest, uh, your throat in order to maintain those right pitches. And so for me, whenever I'm able to see a singer that simultaneously can do this and do something like this, like also play the percussion uh, for a song, I find it really impressive. Um, just like I've also talked about in other reactions, I always find it impressive when someone's able to do that and also do a Inten intense, elaborate, like, dance or something. Um, because it's already difficult if you're just, like, standing there and kind of dancing around a little bit um, to to sing in such a way. Uh, so to add on top of that a whole other level um, of effort is impressive to me. And like I said, you almost never see it uh, with the drummer. So that was exciting and awesome to begin with. Um, and it also seems like... So there's the guitar soloist who, the guitar riffs were pretty sick too. Like they definitely were, I was excited uh, whenever her parts were coming on. Um, but then it also seems like, so the, the keyboard player is also playing bass, I assume. So it, it's multi-talented ladies in this group uh, that are covering multiple parts of a, a band's performance. So. That in itself is exciting. Um, the song, though, I thought was really catchy. I thought it was fantastic. Um, as it started up, I wasn't really sure what to expect because it kind of just had like a soft, sort of romantic song kind of vibe. Um, but no, then it quickly changed pace and it actually has a almost like an epic feel to it. It still obviously has some, like a romantic feeling to it, but Almost like you could imagine this sort of song in the background of, of some sort of epic fantasy story or something along those lines. Um, I I don't know. I really want to listen to it again um, because this seems like this is one of those songs that I could end up personally really liking and like that I would put on my own playlist. Um, which I always, you know, I really enjoy a lot of the things that you guys recommend, um, but there's like some songs that I think they're really cool and awesome and would listen to them in certain situations and on certain occasions. And then there's some songs that I'm like, okay, this is a song that I would probably put on my playlist and listen to over and over. And I could see myself doing that with this song. Um, their style of music is, is obviously there. It's a rock, they're a rock group. Uh, it has the feel of a lot of like nineties female rock singers, um, but with a more modern twist on the music which is great. I think that's amazing. I love 90s rock. So this was just kind of like the perfect group for me to check out. And I'd really be curious to check out more from them too. So please do recommend to me um, other performances or songs of theirs you would like me to react to or that you think that I sh should personally just check it on my time, whichever. Um, yeah, 
I'm going to listen to it again right after I finish editing this. So, <laughs> um, but again, so thank you guys for the recommendation. And as always, in addition to more from them, if you have other groups or performers that you would like me to check something out from, please do leave that in the comments below. Thank you so much for joining me and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye.